Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Rere PV TV The Week. Our top story today is about the German solar company Rere AG, which is currently globally presenting its franchise concept and also making positive headlines on the German stock market. Furthermore, we will have our usual news flash with topics from the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. Rere AG with global activity. It's been a very active week for the Rere AG. The German PV company based in Osnabrück has been busy with projects virtually all around the globe. After the company went public a few weeks ago, this week Rere released their share for the open market on the German stock exchanges. Already last week, the Rere PV TV team supported and consulted its franchisees and the Solar Power International in Orlando, Florida. Well, you know, the reason why I'm here is, uh, you know, we work with our service partners and our franchisees in South America. That's my main uh, job. I'm here to see what's new on the market. Uh, I'm going to bring that back to them uh, on our regular meetings we have. We'll get them up to speed to the latest developments and obviously further uh, to, uh, tie, uh, to, to tighten our ties with the manufacturers. Some days ago in Colombia's capital, Bogota, PVTV presented its franchise concept in cooperation with the German Chamber of Commerce at the International Forum on Renewable Energies, Photovoltaics and Biomass. Led by Rere PVTV's Managing Director for South America, Benno Reber, the company outlined the profile for a prospective master franchisee for the Rere AG in Colombia. In Italy, where the Rere PVTV camera team is currently reporting from the Klima Energy Trade Fair in Bolzen, the company also recently finished the installation of a PV plant in the Abruzzo region. Ladies and gentlemen, the Klima Energy 2012 and the Klima Mobility 2012, both in the fifth edition, are taking place here in the next three days. In the exhibition center in Bozen, Sazan Zero. Many exhibitors have come here, including Riri PV TV. Also at the trade fair in South Tyrol, Riri demonstrated its unique franchise system, of which only recently partners in Ecuador and Chile could be won over. The Reri booth at the exhibition was very well attended and the feedback from the visitors so far has been extremely positive. The activities of the Reri AG have not gone unnoticed at the stock market. The price of the Reri shares rose today in comparison to the previous day by as much as 26 US cents to $8.10. Considering the current global business acumen of the Reri, further franchisee license arrangements can well be expected in the future. Thus, the Reri share provides a great potential for investors. And now we continue with our news flash. Italy. New Conto Energia are put into effect. Italy closed the first registry for PV plants larger than 12 kW under its new feed-in tariffs to the fifth Conto Energia on September 18th. The nation's grid operator GSE will publish the list of plants allowed with in the cost limit provision of the program by October 8, 2012. Only $260 million are available annually to support PV plants in the registry. France proposes fading out feed-in tariffs. France's Ministry of Ecology, Sustainable Development and Energy and its Ministry of Economic Recovery have produced a report recommending gradually phasing out the nation's feed-in tariff program in favor of a tender system, which it says is driven by coast concerns. The government has not said when it plans to act on the recommendations. Spain about to introduce new electricity tax. The Spanish government plans to introduce a flat rate electricity tax of 6%. The tax shall be introduced right from the start of 2013. This applies to all companies that produce or sell energy in the Spanish electricity market, regardless of whether it is conventional or renewable generated. Yesterday, the Spanish government presented a corresponding bill to the parliament in Madrid. Report about UK's renewable obligation. The UK's Department of Energy and Climate Change has released an impact assessment which finds that proposed reductions in renewable obligation banding levels will result in few solar photovoltaic plants being built under the policy. The DECC has proposed cutting PV from 2 ROCs to 1.5 ROCs in 2013-14 to gradually fall to 0.9 ROCs in 2016-17. Yingli partners with Solar 360. Chinese Yingli Green Energy Holding Company, Australian subsidiary, has signed an agreement to appoint Solar 360 as a sales partner. Under the agreement, Yingli will provide Solar 360 with 30 megawatt of its solar photovoltaic modules for distribution through its dealer network in Australia. Worry to build PV plant in India. New Delhi company Texas Infrastructure and Power Projects has awarded a contract to build a 5 megawatt solar photovoltaic plant 
on a turnkey basis to Mumbai-based Vori Energies. The plant will comprise more than 52,000 SINFILM PV modules. We at Vori are committed to the most efficient technology and manpower to execute the projects on time and deliver the best to our customers, said Vori Group Chairman Hitesh Doshi. US Finance ready for solar energy project in California. New York company LS Power has completed financing on and authorized construction of its 170 megawatt Sentinella solar energy project in California's Imperial Valley. The financing was structured with two tranches, combining long-term institutional financing led by New Jersey's Prudential Capital Group with shorter-term bank financing led by Sovereign Bank as coordinating bank and joint lead arranger. US GT Advanced Technologies releases new figures. New Hampshire company GT Advanced Technologies has released an updated guidance for the third quarter of 2012. GT now predicts revenues between 110 and 140 million dollars in the third quarter of 2012. The company additionally issued a statement on potential Euro tariffs for photovoltaic products from China, declaring that these could have significant impacts of its customers in China and could lead to significant internal cost-cutting actions. And now a weekly outlook to the stock market. Renix, the international share index for renewable energy Renix World yesterday declined by 1.17% or 2.09 points. The closing price was 176.64 points. Especially Chinese manufacturers of solar products gained points. The shares of SunTech Power climbed by 8.1% to $1.04, while the LDK solar shares rose by 6.2% to $1.31 above average. The biggest loss in the Renix made the Norwegian solar company REC with a fall of 13% to $30. So far the news for this week. On Monday we will be back for you with rarepv.tv the day. Stay informed and click in on our website pv.tv. Until then, thanks for watching and have a nice weekend.